All right, now today we're going to do what's called Lesson 1.2, and it is referred to as Extending Member Patterns. And what we're going to learn about is making a table, and then using that table to solve some word problems. Yes? Is it recording? It is. All right, next one. I'm going to give you a set of dot paper. And on this dot paper, I want you to draw the smallest square you could draw by connecting dots. Alright? I want you to draw the smallest square you can by connecting dots. Alright? Okay, so everybody has one? So, the smallest square you could make by connecting dots. Yes. Alright, now, when you're done, underneath that, I want you to write down how many dots have lines through them. Four? So, if you take a look at mine, um, I have to make this thing, so I'll just get rid of this next page. And I have, like that. Now, the projector doesn't make it look like a square, it's kind of like a tall rectangle, but it's supposed to be a square. So how many do I have in there? Well, I've got one, two, three, exactly. So I've got how many dots that you use. Now, I want you to draw the next largest square you can draw. So the largest? next largest square. The squares have equal size. So this one was four. What's the next largest one you can do? Well, this can be a lot. No. It's got to be just a little bit bigger than the one you just drew. Yeah, it's got to be a square. It's not the whole page. The next largest square. So you wouldn't be able to draw another square between this one and the one you drew first. What do you think, Lexi? That's right. Come up and draw on the board, Lexi. Okay. Just take any mark. Okay. Okay. Watch what she does. Okay. You know, it's supposed to be a square. You know, just do it the way you put it. Do it on your paper. This is a little bit distorted because of the uh, the way the projector puts the dots on the screen. Okay. Is that a square? Yeah. Yep. How many dots are in it, Lexi? Or Lexi? No. Um, the lines. How many dots do the lines go through? Put an eight there for me. Inside the square. Put an eight inside the square. There you go. Good job. Now, up here, this one was a four, right? So we have a four. The next biggest was doing two spaces. Do you see how what Lexi did here? She did from here, there's like one space from here to here, right? See that? And then is where there was one space from here to here. What she's done is she's gone one, two, by one, two. So what do you think the next largest square is going to be, Tristan? It's going to be three by three, and it's going to have four dots connected. Okay, you take a draw three by three, and then you figure out how many dots are on the lines. Yep, one just a little larger. Lexi showed you this one here, which was two. Spaces, not twice, the next largest one you can make. This is going to be a normal, you go to drop this pin. Take the marker. I'm just going to sign it over here. Yeah. 
Okay, did he do it right? Yeah. Good job, sir. Good job. All right, so how many dots on this one, Tristan? Twelve. Twelve. Because he said four before. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um, yeah, okay, but 4 by 4 by 4 by 4 would be 16, you know, there's 12 there, and there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and that one is 4 and that. So 4, 8, 12. So, if we take this and we put this information, what's that? I'm going to put it in a chart, we're not going to do the next, okay? So our next step, we did all the dots, we did that, that's what we did with, okay? And now we're going to put them in a chart. So how many, which, which figure is this one? We'll call it one figure one. That was the first one we did, right? And there was four dots. This is figure two. And there were eight dots. This is figure three. And there were 12 dots. So, can you see what's happening with our table? No, we just want to, right? So, we got them in a chart. The next step is... Can you tell me how many dots are in the fourth figure without drawing it? Can you tell me how many dots are in the fourth figure without drawing it? Raven, what do you think? Eighteen? Mm. It's close, but not quite. Did you draw one and check it? Okay. Noah? How did you get 16? You counted. Oh, you drew it. You counted it. No, I just counted it. Wow. What's happening as we go down here? We're skip time by what? Fours. Fours, right. This is skip time by fours. This is 4, 8, 12. What does that mean? This is 16 for the fourth figure. All right. How, what, how would you go sideways? Does anybody figure out how we go sideways in this one? No. Yes, babe. What's up? What happens when you go this way? Does anybody figure out how we're getting from the 1 to the 4, the 2 to the 8, the 3 to the 12? Tristan? It would go, if you're going this way in the show, it would be 14, 28, 312. Uh, well, I want to know how to get, if I give you this figure, can you tell me how many dots are going to be in there? So let's say I want you to do the 7th figure. Okay. How many dots in the 7th figure? How did you get that? You counted your fingers. So you skip. So what you did is you skip counted down to the seventh number. Have you realized that this is one times four? This is two times four. This is three times four. This is four times four. So all we're doing to get from the figure to the number of dots is multiplying by four. Yes. Yes, you sure can. All right, let's go on. Here's my chart. I will be doing that. Okay, we did that already. Let's see if you can figure out what goes in here. We know this is 16, right? So what goes here, Lexi? What goes here, Lexi? 20. 20. And? Yes, 10. All right, you see what we did there? We took the figures, we drew the first couple of figures, we put them in a table, and then we learned how to get the other figures without having to draw them. So, let's try again. This is a photocopy of your textbook. So, here is a pattern of triangles drawn on dot paper. Each triangle has two equal sides. This pattern continues. Okay? So, we're going to the next part. If you take a look at this one, it goes one, two, three. Right? This one goes one, two, three, four, five, six. That's for the sixth one. This one has nine. This one has twelve. And this one has fifteen. So, now we need to do 
What is the pattern rule? The pattern rule is going sideways. What are we doing, Tana? Counting by three. So, but, but what time? What am I doing here to get to that three? Going uh, sideways, oh. not down. I know this is counting by threes, but to get from the one to the three, to get from two to the six, three to the nine. Yeah. No. How do I do that? How do I get from a one to a three? Uh, one times what is three? One plus. What do you got? Two. two. Okay, what's two plus two? Four. Is that two to six? No, it can't be on me. Three. Add three. One plus three is four. So it's not adding. Can you think of something else? So it's not adding. Okay, good. Multiply. So one times what gives you three? Good. One times three equals three. So our pattern rule is to multiply the input or the triangle. This is a triangle number, I guess. The triangle number by three. So we check out the rest of them. Two times three is equal to six. Three times three. This is equal to 9, 4 times 3 is 12, and 5 times 3 is 15. Do you start to see why we're doing all those math snap games and trying to get you to beat the math frame? Because yeah. it's, it's, if you don't write your multiplication tables, it makes us very slow, isn't it? Yeah. All right. All right, so let's move on to the next part. Okay. Um, will any triangle have 22 dots? No, uh, I don't know. Okay, why, Mr. Brown? Sorry? You don't know. You heard everybody say no and you said it too also? Alright, cool. Counting by ones? I don't know. So what I'm asking you, is there any place where you will have a 22 in this column? Tiana? Or we're skipping counting by threes. There is 22 in the three times table. Let's find out. Three times one is equal to three. Three times two is equal to six. Three times three is equal to nine. Three times four is equal to 12. So we're skip counting, right? So three times five is three more. That's 15. Three times six is 18. Thank you. Three times seven is 21, and then 3 times 8 is what? 4. So, the 22 is stuck in here, isn't it? It is not going to appear in this pattern. No, what is it? 23. 23? No, 23. Let's go on then. So here's my answer. 3 times 6 is 18. That's 6 triangles. And 3 times 7 is 21 triangles. And 20, sorry, the... Where is it? 22 is right here. So 3 times 8 is equal to 24. So this one here is in between this one and that one. Alright, let's go past that. And here's a pattern rule with squares. Okay, you see the shaded ones in the middle? You can tell that, right? Okay, so figure one, there's some number, there's a number of gray squares. Is also a number of white squares. So, Tyra, can you tell me what number one has for gray squares and white squares? How many gray squares for figure one? Two, gray Two and how many whites? Seven. Seven whites. Perfect. Okay. Noah, how many gray squares and white squares in figure two? Oh, wait a minute. There's nothing. 
you're wrong, there isn't. So the game will continue. So let's go on to the next part. Um, use the figures, use that array. So there's our numbers right there. Um, there's a four. Right, let's go on to the next one. How many white squares will be in the, it will be a figure with 10 gray squares? Okay, so when this is 10, how many white is there going to be? So we have to try to figure out how we're going from the gray squares to the white squares. Well, what do you think, Tristan? 26. 26, he says. Because 14, plus 14 is 5, plus 5 is 10, and then 14 plus 14 is about 26, because you take 2 tens, or 20, and then there's 2 threes and 6. So what you're saying is, okay. So what you're saying is, you go here, you multiply by two, and add three. Is that what you were saying? Here? Let's see if this works. What's two times two? What's two times two? Four. What's four plus three? Seven. All right. What's three times two? Six plus three, well, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Yeah. That works for that one, it works for that one. Four times two is eight, nine, ten, eleven. Three more gives you eleven. Five times two is ten, and three more gives you thirteen. So now, ten times two gives you what? Twenty plus three gives me? No, twenty-three. So this one's 23, you're very close to it. Okay? So you're multiplying by 2 and adding 3. It is, isn't it? Let's go to the next question we had after that. So this one was 20, the answer to the first one was 23. Now, how many gray squares, squares will be in the figure with 29 white ones? So when I get 29 white ones, right here, Right. How many gray squares will there be? Now you gotta work backwards. Kristen's got a Jensen. What do you think, Kristen? Twelve. Twelve? Twelve So twelve. Because you go from twenty-three and then you count by three. It's twenty-three, twenty-six, twenty-nine. Okay, we're gonna do that one. We're gonna twenty-nine right here, right? What's 12 times 2? That's a hard one. How much is 2 twelves? 24. Good. What's 24 plus 3? 27. 27. Exactly. So this, when there's 27, so 12 will get you 27. That's not enough, is it? We need what? Oh, sorry, no, we're doing yes, this is right. This is 27, great. Right. No, we're trying to figure this one out. So the question was, how many squares would be in the 29 one? It would be 12. 12. All right. Oh. Wow. It's quarter after. Let's see. What else can we do here? Okay. Well, I'm going to stop the recording because it is a sign of time. So we don't have to keep this going. <laughs>